looks weird right there as well. Almost like some sort of water damage. Let's pair that thing up, man. Look. Dude, we found some pretty crazy frame damage that we were not really expecting. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage, and today we're gonna continue working on our brand new build, the 2019 Lamborghini Urus. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally got that sucker up on the frame machine, clamped down, and we even did our very first pulls, which we noticed the sucker pulls super easy because, of course, it is mainly aluminum, which that's just super awesome. But of course, we do got some more pulling that we gotta do in this rear section right here. Maybe a few other little pulls here and there but also we tore apart the front the rear bumper the fender basically all the damaged body panels except for this quarter panel right there which that's exactly what we're going to do today is rip dude, that sucker off not dude. just the quarter panel we're going to try to get the whole entire side of this lamborghini wow, off dude. dude we got a lot of exciting stuff and you know what the most exciting thing is we have all the parts that we need we got the parts car over there we got all the body panels and i think everything else is on the way like the little things like the windshield and the wheels the wheels man this is going to be a pretty quick rebuild we're hoping if the process goes super smooth which we've never done a quarter panel on our own but you know what i think we got it under control what do you think 100 percent. i mean this is ain't too bad you know, it's all, um, I think, the self-piercing rivets and exactly. panel bond. That's it, dude. Exactly. So right now, what we're going to do is move a few things out of our way, get at that seam sealer, peel a bunch of it off, get some drill bits, and start doing some cutting and some a little bit more straightening, and hopefully pop that sucker off. goodness guys it is a sad day to see this portion is conditioned dude it's just sad overall when you look at it and it's not 100 percent done but you know what we got stuff on the way i mean stuff is coming from all over the country it is you know what i mean exactly <laughs> yeah we are sourcing stuff we already ordered stuff like all the mesh all the grill pieces and we're finding this stuff for an amazing deal as well because i know the dealer was 20 grand Dude. So we're trying to cut that at least in half. Dude, we might even even cut it even more than half, I dude. We're so, finding dude. some great deals. So that's the whole process about this GT2 RS stuff. Very rare parts, very expensive parts, but we are sourcing them left and right. We got a bunch of stuff coming for the front bumper, the rear bumper. Ooh. Dude, this thing's gonna be ripping here soon, but we gotta go ahead and just jump on this Urus and try to get that sucker off. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. We just took out one last final piece for now because I think we might have to take apart this whole entire interior right here because of course we're trying to expose all these self-piercing rivets right here. And we thought it was just gonna be this jam, but turns out just to remove these jams, you gotta remove the seats and about like the whole entire interior dude, pretty much. We dude. might as well just go ahead and just keep on moving, but you know what? That's just part of it. It's man. part of it. And honestly, I think we might have to remove that nice Alcantara headliner right there, which means we're gonna have to remove that side, which pretty much is the whole entire interior for this section hopefully we don't have to remove this dash right here i think we may be able to work around it but that looks 
pretty intricate right yeah, there. Yeah, and dude. we do not want to ruin it. Man, this might just end up being like the Porsche, man. The whole dude, thing comes out. <laughs> I'm actually okay with that because I know with the Porsche, we took out the whole entire interior and we let it sit for a couple of months and we were still able to put that sucker together like a puzzle right there. So this right here will be no problem. Ain't you know what I mean? nothing, man. I'm telling you, man. If we have to, we'll clean this. We'll gut this interior, We dude. will because this interior is actually pretty simple for the most part. Literally, everything is on clips and there was just a couple of super long, extremely long bolts. Like for the seat, it was like a four inch bolt. Dude all the way around don't know why that's crazy that's man. crazy but you know what for this seat right here literally on clips you just like pull two tabs pops up same for this airbag right here for the rear seats literally just like two bolts right here and then super powerful clips dude pop, pop right, right off, off dude. dude and to get one peak panel out you gotta basically take the whole entire interior exactly but part. you know what it's super simple i'm not even complaining because no, it's sir. pretty cool what we're finding about like how this sucker goes together and, and comes and i apart. believe i looked like on the inside of this quarter panel you can see where they actually patched up one bullet no, hole dude no way yeah and also we found that bullet hole right there Another, right above the shock dude that's pretty crazy so we're finding more bullet holes here and there but right now what we're going to do is probably go ahead and start getting at a little bit more trim this trim right here a little bit more interior stuff and then we're going to get at the seam sealer and hopefully start popping this quarter panel off because we just did our last major pulls you know what i mean yeah last major pulls until that quarter panel comes off and then yes. that's when we do the serious stuff exactly so let's keep on moving and we, let's see if we find some more crazier stuff Cheese, oh dude. my goodness, why is this behind this quarter panel right here? Dude, dude? This right here is actually wax. So we started noticing this whenever we were drilling these out and heating it up. Something started dripping right here, and we're like, dang, that's a lot of wax. And I mean, you usually spray cavity wax behind like new panels and stuff like that. The hard to reach spaces where you don't want it to rust, like you can't spray spray paint. But dude, a brand new Lamborghini, they fill this thing dude, up, dude. But it is aluminum back there, so yeah. I really don't see why that wax is necessary because aluminum can't really rust. Crazy. Easy, no, man. Uh, rust, if you put in salt and aluminum, uh, very true, easy. True. Maybe. Very easy. For yeah. yeah, aluminum Makes could, sense, salt can eat aluminum. But anyways, that is a lot. We, we might make a Lamborghini candle, dude. Dude, might have to, dude. <laughs> Come on, pump. Candle, yeah. <laughs> some, some make it for... Um, you know, uh, Any, Christmas or what? Anybody <laughs> want some wax for their skateboard trucks? <laughs> hey, dude, that's pretty cool right there. But so far, we removed a few more little things from the inside. Yep. And it definitely looks like we're going to be removing the whole entire interior pretty yeah, much, Yeah, 100%. Dude. I mean, we're just going to have to do it. I mean, we're going to have to take this headliner off. And that means you got to have to take the other seat off, this back seat right here. And might as well just just take it all the out. The dash honestly. we're not 100% sure on, but we did notice something pretty crazy. I think we should just go ahead and show you guys the crack. Oh, over yeah, here, dude. We dude. found some pretty crazy frame damage that we were not really expecting. Let me see if I can get up in here and show you guys see what's going on. See that sucker right here? I got a flashlight. Yeah, turn that flashlight on. Oh, 
one, dude. That's oh. pretty gnarly right there, dude. <laughs> Let me see if I can focus in on it. So that right there, I believe, is actually steel. Yeah. And it which, cracked like that. Yeah, it's really crazy. I mean, steel is supposed to just bend. I mean, I've seen steel mangled in other cars, but this steel right here just cracked right away. I don't know why, but that's pretty weird. You know what I mean? Yep. I never knew steel could crack so hard. It's so weird because this part of the car is steel, and then when you go over here... Oh, that's steel right there. And then like when you cross to like the quarter panel area. Yeah, these main pieces of metal right here, these are all just aluminum, aluminum which is crazy. Half of this car is steel, half of it is aluminum. I guess they just threw steel wherever it needed that, you know, the extra strength, strength. Yeah, extra strength and stuff like that. Which, wow. That's surprising though, seeing it crack like that, which is, I don't know, that's pretty crazy. I've never thought steel can crack like that. Yep, dude. so we do got some pretty crazy, crazy like bending right here. So that's definitely gonna have to get pulled out like crazy. But the good thing is we're just gonna be able to weld that clean up yeah, right there. we're gonna make sure everything is 100%. We're gonna pull the frame. Of course, this all needs to get pulled this way a little bit. And once we get it straightened out and that quarter panel test fitted, we'll weld that up perfectly. Maybe do even extra welds over there. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it's gonna be definitely strong, just like OEM, but it's pretty crazy how this stuff is coming apart because like it's folded, it's got like flaps, a bunch of panel yeah, bonds. This, like I'm noticing this quarter panel section right here, there's another section right here. So this is a different piece from that piece. And then we're just, we're, that's why we're on this quarter panel trying to remove it first. That way we can know exactly how we can remove that one without damaging it. And we want it to remove in one nice piece. Of course, there's going to be some bending going on like this over there because that's just what's going to have to yeah. happen. But you know what? Well, a little bit of body work. That stuff gets closed in anyways, you know? Exactly. But these flaps right here, we're definitely going to want to take a little bit more care of those over there on the new quarter panel. We're and testing it out, We're man. testing it out. And also we're learning that some of these rivets are high like strength and some of them just like drill through yeah, super some easy. of them i think some of them are aluminum and some of them are steel. like high strength steel which i think there was only like one on each side and there's like two over here underneath the kind of random spots i think that's where like four different sheets of metal actually go together right yes there. sir but you know what we are making some amazing progress and we're gonna keep on moving dude let's do it you we are Woo. some investigators i'm man. telling you man <laughs> well we started looking into this section over here and there's actually an entry and also you can see like an exit yeah so whatnot. it entered right here and then when you go on this other side look at that it even pulled out some of that inner stuff right there but look it even bounced off that back wall and bounced around inside there and we had to find that bullet dude, that dude. Is crazy right there we might just have to make like a little souvenir a little dude. necklace dude <laughs> but that's already two bullets down and probably plenty more to go dude, dude. I, yeah, i'm hoping there's not no more and the good thing that i'm noticing is like none of this stuff like hit any computers but it was really close yeah, was, look at that it dude. was really close to this computer right here and really close to these wires i mean it grazed these wires it might oh yeah did look, it nick them look it nicked the wire right there dude, dude that, that is just insane but you know what we dude. had to dig back there because we're trying to pop off this lid right here in order to get to these rivets and man it's pretty difficult i know dude, dude this trunk lid probably the worst trunk lid ever i mean just in terms of how to get it off because the wires actually ran behind 
up under the headliner. So we had to pop all this off right here, pop the headliner down. And then they ran back on the side. So we had to pop all this off. We unplugged it a couple grounds, like five grounds. And then there was like three main plugs on this side right there. And dude, it finally came out. Finally, dude. <laughs> we got that sucker on the ground right there. And we're just going to keep on moving and hopefully remove some more of these self-piercing rivets. And dude, maybe see some progress on this quarter panel. That is right, right there. And this right here is a bullet hole. Where's that bullet hole? Is it on the quarter panel? Yeah, it's on the quarter panel. Look right there, dude. Look at that, dude. What did they plug it with some bubble gum, oh, it's dude? It's like hubba bubble right there. Oh my goodness, but dude, we just took it off in a section because we can't really figure out, I guess, how the roof is connected, yeah, right? That's exactly why we just cut it off right here. That way we don't go any further because as of over here, man, this is just a perfect seam. Can't see nothing over here. Almost looks like that maybe seam sealer right there, which that's exactly what we're gonna be focusing on. See how we can get this off. We may have to just heat it up. Maybe have to get like a wire wheel or something to just like clean that up. Yeah, right we gotta there. figure that out. And then we might even have to replace the whole entire roof, which that's gonna be super insane. Hopefully we could just maybe just peel it off right here and figure it out. Can we see anything from the inside? Yeah, I mean, I'm feeling it right here. It almost feels like it is the quarter panel kind of goes up underneath it a little bit so if we can just heat that up once we get all this out we'll kind of like bend it up from yeah. here and kind of work its way out wow right but look at this dude the inner structure is looking really good no damages to this main piece right here but this of course we're going to replace because yeah. there's rivets right here right yeah we're going to probably end up replacing this piece may even end up replacing this little piece too it's kind of mangled and it's bolted on a few little rivets here and there simple stuff right there dude but guys that's pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video we are making some amazing progress on our brand new lamborghini euro rebuild over here we're just finding out some crazy things and you know what we are almost kind of stuck right now but you know what we ain't never fully stuck forever we're gonna figure this sucker out we're gonna get a brand new quarter panel on there get that sucker fully rebuilt and it's gonna be super epic so definitely be sure to drop all your comments and thoughts down below thank you guys so much for all the love and support we'll catch you guys next time peace Alrighty guys, so if you made it to the end of the video, we just threw in a little extras over here and we're just gonna update you guys right quick on the new Goon Squad house. It's me and my wife here and look at this. It snowed last night and it is beautiful. I'm gonna be the first one to make some tracks other than the deer. Look, there's a there's some deer tracks. Wow. Or no, that's a dog. <laughs> Kinda wanna just see if any water trickles down into the filtration system that we set up over there or the pipes. Just we're gonna check out the pipes and uh, we're just gonna quickly go through the house, check some stuff out, and um, wow, look, Pops moved some logs. Wow, he's doing stuff, man. Pops is always on top of his game. And this is how we gotta get out of this truck right here because that side is still damaged and that door won't open up, but you know what? My baby is, is very athletic, so she can get in and out no problem, so we're gonna go ahead and walk inside. Look at this powder, oh my goodness. All right, let's step inside here, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not good at all. But it's okay, you know, there's gonna be final touch-ups. Forgot there's not a stopper there. Beautiful kitchen, let's just swing by right quick. It's super cold in this house. We still don't have power just yet, but um, we ran the line from the road, or the city ran the power line from the road in the ground to the house. All they gotta do is actually just uh, pass inspection or something, and then, what's going on here? Yeah, and then we'll have power, but I think we gotta go the other way. And wow, they've been, they've been at it, so look at this. Wow, look at that bench right there. That's gonna be so awesome. So we're gonna have a steam shower in here. And basically, you can just crank up some steam and just kick back and relax. And I love this, this niche or this niche that you picked out, baby. That's a good, good option. Like usually you go with like a one by one. You did, you opted for the one by three, which I love that because you know, all my shampoo, all your shampoo, all your conditioner, all that good stuff is gonna be amazing. And we do have a rain head, so, and 
they're putting tile on the ceiling right there because whenever you do a steam shower, that's kind of required because you don't want your sheetrock getting moisture. But beautiful right here. I guess let's step outside and show you guys if any rain is dripping out that system. Wow, guys. Look at, oh. Oh, that's like, that's like three, four inches of ice. Probably three inches right there is what it seems like because I almost cracked it. Let me throw the elbow at it. Dang, that's solid. That's how cold it is in this house, which is honestly not a good thing because I feel like things or wood expands and contracts in a house. So like, you know, like a bunch of like gaps might start opening where like there was some caulking done, but honestly everything looks really good around the trim and everything. So I'd be happy when they turn the heat on in this house to see no cracking at all. So before we step outside, we actually just noticed something pretty crazy. If you look into the ceiling right there, there is an ever so slight hairline crack right there, I guess, where two pieces of sheetrock got joined together by the mud. And I guess it's cracking because of the cold. It is extremely cold in here. You guys may not be able to tell, but it's freezing in here and it's been even colder a couple days prior. So that's just crazy to see. But of course I could easily be taken care of right there. I guess that's just from the cold. I don't see, like, it kind of looks weird right there as well. Almost like some sort of water damage or something, which is not so good. But you know what? I feel like the painters and the people that are gonna do like all the caulking, they're definitely gonna be able to take care of all that stuff, no problem. All right, so I'm actually gonna crack this open to see. Oh wow, what's going on? Does the whole top come off? It does. There's supposed to be some sort of vortex going on. Wow, look at that, it is a vortex. That's so cool. Wow. That's awesome right there, but look at that trickle right there out the back. That's clean, drinkable water right there. No, it's not quite drinkable. It definitely has to pass through more filters and a UV light. And I think you can drink this stuff right here. <laughs> Bye.